Welcome to Newbury Showground, the setting for Southern Counties Canine Association Championship Dog Show. This weekend there is a touch of national spirit in the air as the Queen celebrates her Diamond Jubilee. Hello and welcome to Around the Dog World. Now, despite this being a very British weekend with tea and scones and union flags flying high, Southern Counties is a show renowned for its overseas judges, with judges here over the weekend from Sweden, Denmark, Finland, Norway and the US. The first day of Southern Counties has given us some splendid weather for the judging of the gun dog and utility groups. But before we move on to some of the judging, we're going to take a look back at the shows that we've missed. I'm joined today by Andrew Brace, and we're going to take a look back to Birmingham National, where, Andrew, there was a Best in Show winner there that took a group placing on our last programme at Welks. Apparently so. I wasn't at Welks. Um, I judged the, the, the working group at, uh, at Birmingham National and this was actually the first time that I'd seen the dog that we're talking about, which was the Newfoundland. He's called Sand Bears Stride and Style. That's it. Um, it turns out that the dog had won 12 reserve challenge certificates previously, then got his first CC and best of breed, following it up with the second and third at the next two shows, so made his title in, in three consecutive shows. I'd never seen him before he came into the working group, but as soon as he came in for the first go around, he caught my eye and on close inspection, he didn't disappoint. He's a beautiful Newfoundland type, has the most glorious head and expression, beautiful bone and feet, great ribs, lovely dog to get hands on. And when he moves, he moves like a Newfoundland. He was a standout for me in the group. So this leads us on to Scottish Kennel Club uh, the week later, where we saw another first time Best in Show winner, not just for the dog, but for the family as well. Yeah, this is the pointer dog, um, Kiswahili Martin at Canix, um, who actually was second in my gun dog group at Birmingham National, where the Newfie won. The pointer is owned by Heather Bennett, who is the daughter of Joanne Blackburn Bennett, the daughter of Ellen Blackburn. I believe they've actually finished something like 60 champions between them over the years. And uh, he's, he's a strong dog. He, he takes a lot of handling. And Joanne's quite a petite little thing. Um, <laughs> but she, she does a good job with him and, and went on to win the dog's first best in show. And just last week, down in the southwest, we saw Bath Canine Society Championship Dog Show, where a best in show winner went to actually one of the high profile breeds. Can you tell us more about the, the breed that won? This was a St. Bernard bitch. She's a young bitch. I believe she was attending her fourth show only. Uh, I'm at a slight disadvantage here, Marina, because at this point in time, I've never actually seen this bitch. I have, of course, seen photographs of her in the papers. She looks very impressive, I have to say. Um, she's bred by Tan and Anne-Marie Negresha and is jointly owned by Tan and Alison Granger. She's called Chandlemore Sparks Will Fly over Samhaven. I believe that Tan and Alison have her entered, so uh, I, I think I'll be making a point of going around and <laughs> seeing if she looks as good in the flesh as she does in the pictures. But um, it's, it's, it's a tremendous achievement for this breed. As you said, it's one of the high profile breeds. To do this with a young bitch um, in a breed which has in the past dealt with various health and constructional issues is a great compliment to the breeders who, who take breeding good looking dogs that fit the breed standard and are fit and healthy extremely seriously. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. Pleasure. Now, we've spoken a fair amount about the high profile breeds since Cross, so this leads nicely into finding out a little bit more about the high profile breeds. At Crufts, earlier this year, the Kennel Club implemented a system of veterinary checks on 15 breeds that they have designated as high profile. Dog World Associate Editor Simon Parsons explains why the system was introduced and why it has not been universally popular. I think the Kennel Club wanted to ensure that as far as it was possible to tell in, in a show environment that the dogs uh, who appeared in the group ring or who gained the title of champion 
uh, in these particular breeds uh, were uh, sound and, and apparently healthy as, as it was, was possible to be. The Kennel Club has decided that, that these uh, 15 breeds should be described as the high profile breeds. Uh, the uh, idea is that in the past perhaps breeders have in some cases tended to take certain features in these breeds a little too far, for example, too much loose skin or, or something like that, which could conceivably uh, put compromise uh, that, that breed's welfare. Each of the 15 best of breed winners, immediately after it, its uh, success, uh, was taken to a, an, an area of the show uh, where one of these two vets examined the dog in, in qu quite a bit of detail. Much to everyone's horror, it, uh, no fewer than six out of the 15 uh, breeds uh, failed uh, the, the, the checks. There was a, a considerable amount of concern among uh, dog breeders, judges, uh, uh, as uh, one would expect. The momentum was such that just a few days after Crufts, about 600 dog people uh, attended a, a hastily called meeting in, in Birmingham where an organisation called the, the Canine Alliance was formed. Uh, with the hope of being able to communicate the views of uh, grassroots uh, dog breeders, exhibitors, judges uh, to, to the Kennel Club. The, the main objection in principle was that it, uh, a number of people think it's unfair to single out uh, 15 breeds in this way. Uh, I think if, if the aim of all of us, whether it be breeders, judges, uh, exhibitors, the Kennel Club, is to have uh, dogs, particularly those who appear in the show ring, to be as, as healthy as possible. But that should apply to every single breed, not, not just uh, the, the 15 which some people feel have been un unfairly picked upon. These checks were not just going to take place at Crufts, obviously that's the, the show which, which gets uh, all, all the publicity, but they were going to apply to every single all-breed and group championship show uh, subsequently. So the, the, the best of breed winners in these 15 breeds have been examined at shows ever since. The extraordinary aspect of this is that whereas 6 out of 15 dogs failed at Crufts, at all the subsequent shows, only two dogs out of the approximately 100 that have been examined so far uh, have failed. Uh, one heartening aspect is that, that a number of dogs from, from the, the 15 breeds have gone on to do really well in the, the all-breed competition. Indeed, at the, the recent Bath Championship show, no fewer than four out of the seven group winners came from these breeds, including the ultimate best in show winner, the very sound moving St Bernard bitch. Ron Lineker from the United States, Judge Lee Peters. He made this dog, number 1808, his best of breed. <laughs> Bulldogs were judged by Karina Le Maire, and she found her best of breed in this dog, number 1954. The Japanese Shiba Inus were judged by Gunnel Ho from Finland. She found her best of breed in this bitch 2211. Frank Snow going over the Kazons. These were judged by Miss Cartledge. She found her best of breed in this bitch 2267. Mark Koza judged the Arzarapsos and his best breed in his dog, number 2317. Johan found his best of breed in this pitch, 2472. The Schnauzer is judged by Jill Peek. She found her best of breed in this dog, 2565. Frank is now going over the sharp haze. This a dog, number 2571. They were judged today by Frank Kane. <laughs> Frank has called for the group boards to come out. And he has given it to the Shiba Inu best in group. Third, the last 
winner at Southern Counties was the Japanese Shiba Inu. Now I'm joined by Frank Wildman who was judging his first utility group. What did you make of that group for you today? Nice group, some nice dogs. A credit to the judges actually, um, but especially the Shiba and I like the cookies on as well. Well, many congratulations um, on your winner who will go through to Best in Show yeah. on Sunday night. Thank so you. the winner was the Japanese Shiba Inu called Baby, Vormund Fashion Baby. And I'm joined by Liz Dunhill, owner handler. Liz, um, fantastic win for Baby today. Absolutely. That's a second group and she's only been to about five shows in her career. Really? Yeah. And she's a young one as well. Yeah, she's 14 months old. Um, her mother is an American import to one of my um, top winning stud dogs. And so I know you're camping on site, so yeah. now you don't have to go very far. No, we don't, so that's good for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see you on Sunday. Congratulations, Thank Liz you. and Baby. Thank you. So, I'm joined by Andrew Brace, our resident expert for the few days. Now, Andrew, that was a particularly nice group. There were some really nice winners in there and that got into the group placings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was a fairly strong group, as Frank has intimated to you. And, of course, he had to lose the Boston and the French team because of, obviously, their connections as breeders. Um, you had the Kazon in there, who took second, who I believe won her title today. Then third was the Larsa Apso, who was last week's group winner at Bath. And in fourth place you had this um, cosmopolitan bulldog, bred in the UK, sent to Spain, became a Spanish champion in Madrid, I believe, and has now returned home to get the third CC, so also a British champion. Um, and it passed the controversial vet check so has now had its title confirmed. Here we go. And the English Springer is best in group. Followed by the Field Spaniel. Then the Welsh Springer. And fourth in the group, the American Copper Spaniel. Congratulations to the others. You are all winners, of course. The 
English Springer Spaniel has topped the Gundog Group at Southern Counties 2012. I'm delighted to be joined all the way from Finland, Reiner Vorinen. Um, thank you for joining us and staying behind as well. But that was a beautiful group in there. Was there some lovely dogs in there for you to see? Really? I didn't like. It was a weak group. There were some beautiful dogs, but, but the rest, no, no, no. Can dogs, I have seen much better can dog group here in this country. And you've judged a lot over here, so in your every, opinion it every wasn't... Every year. And in your opinion this group wasn't one of the best? No way. But the English Springer Spaniel topped the lot? Beautiful dog, moving correctly, lovely head, lovely body, like the breed. Well, thank you very much for staying behind to join thank us you. and for your thoughts as well. Thank now, so much. Jackie Mitchell, top the group with the English Springer Spaniel. So tell us a little bit about this dog and uh, some of its past history wins. Um, well, he was imported from Sweden when he was 11 months old and he's now six years old and he has won his 20th ticket today. So he's done really well, much um, better than we imagined. And was this the same dog that we saw on a previous Around the Dog World programme back at City of Birmingham? Yes, it was last year, yeah. And with it had a different husband. handler? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with So do you husband. take it in turns? Yeah, probably half and half, but he goes much better for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he does. So Andrew, it was very interesting what Reiner said about the group, that it was a very weak group. Was Is that something that, do we get weak Gondo well, groups Well, you know, a lot? you should never ask a Finn for an opinion if you're not prepared to take that opinion. And they will tell you exactly what they think. And these Finnish guys, in particular Reiner, Hans Lechten and their elder statesman, Kari Yarvinen, they've been coming over here for 20 years plus. And, you know, they've, they've seen the standard of gun dogs that we have seen in the past. And um, Reiner just told it as he saw it. Uh, sometimes nice to hear uh, something more refreshing than Absolutely. just the usual. Uh, they, they don't do sycophancy <laughs> in Finland. No. And so we had um, a, a collection of a, a quad of four Spaniels, I suppose. Four Spaniels and almost four Scandinavian judges sending them forward in the breed. The um, Springer, which was imported from Sweden, judged by Hans Lechtenen. In second place, we had the Field Spaniel, uh, judged by a Swedish judge, Hans Almgren, and another Swedish import. This show is just full of coincidences. I can't remember two Swedish imports ever getting one and two in a gun dog group here sent forward by Scandinavian judges. Then in third place, you've got the Welsh Springer Spaniel sent forward by Per Iverson, a Norwegian, very highly thought of in this country. And in fourth place, the American Cocker Spaniel sent forward by not a Scandinavian, but a Welshman, oh. <laughs> Richard Morris. <laughs> well, there we go. The English Springer Spaniel joins the Japanese Shiba Inu for the lineup of Best in Show on Sunday night. Benica is going to give the first place to the soft coated Wheaton Terrier. I think there is that to please people about. And 
then to the Dandy Dinwall. And then to the Miniature Bull Terrier. And the Border Terrier, four. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the others. Well done. Can we have a... just seen the soft coated Wheaton Terrier top the Terrier group here at Southern Counties and delighted to be joined by the judge Ron Menneker who's no stranger to Southern Counties. You judged here many years don't you? Well I've judged here probably the last four or five years that's correct. And from that accent you're obviously from not around here what brings you to Britain? Southern Counties. <laughs> <laughs> and, but what attracts you is it is there a good quality of dogs over here compared to over in America? Well I think uh, certainly the UK is filled with a plethora of incredible dogs and so it's nice to see dogs in other countries and see how the breeders are breeding these days and how they interpret the standards and what they think is, is the appropriate uh, breed type. And was the standard of today's Terrier group on a par with America? Or? Absolutely. Had some incredible dogs. Was particularly impressed with the fact that some of the dogs that aren't as popular were so strong today and, in fact, uh, made up a big part of our group. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Ron. We really appreciate your thoughts here. I'm going to turn to and actually speak to the winning handler of today's Terrier group winner, which is Michaela Dunhill Hall. Now, we actually saw her mother win yesterday's utility group with a Japanese Shiba Inu. Now, we're keeping it in the family here, aren't we, Michaela? Yeah, <laughs> we are. Yeah, she went and won the group as well. We've never done that, so it's absolutely incredible. I'm over the moon. And how old are you? Um, 12. Just 12, good gracious. So tell us a little bit about Lily then. Um, Lily's owned by Sandra Whittington, um, and I've got six CCs at the minute. I'm ever so proud of her, because she's my first ever group placing with a Wheaton, so I'm really chuffed. But it's not the first time you've topped a group this year, is it? Um, no, I actually Boston this year and um, top the group with my Rottweiler. Well, best of luck, Michaela. Thank you for joining us and telling us a little bit about Lily as well. And we'll see you in Best in Show. <laughs> Thank you. So, the uh, Terrier group was topped by the soft coated Wheaton. Like Ron said, there it was interesting to hear that the standard of today's Terrier group was kind of on a par with America. Is that is that good? Well, um, the USA in recent years has produced some really, really top terriers. And um, if that was Ron's opinion of today's Terrier Group, that's quite a compliment. Um, Howard will make a, a second cut of four. So firstly to be short. King Charles Spaniel. First out is the smooth coat, the Italian Greyhound, the King Charles and the Pekingese.
and investing group, the Pekingese, followed by the King Carl Spaniel, the Smooth Boat Chihuahua, followed by the Italian Greyhound. Congratulations. A small circle will be fine. Winner of the toy group at Southern Counties 2012 was the Pekingese. Now, I'm joined by Howard Ogden, who judged the group, and it was your fourth group, Howard. You had quite a big shortlist there. Was it because you had lots of choice? Yeah, I, I did uh, quite a large shortlist because people travel vast distances. There are a lot of quality dogs, uh, and I think it's right that you recognise that. Um, there are those who, who uh, are... Uh, popular uh, and are regularly successful. There are several others within their breeds who are uh, equally deserving of being recognised. So really it's giving recognition to the breeders for the uh, fantastic work they do. Well the breeder and handler of the winning Pekingese was Bert Easton. Now interestingly enough you judged the breed at Crufts um, where the best of breed did actually not go through to the group due to the high profile checks. How do you feel now that you've, you've won the group with you know, a breed that obviously is in the limelight at the moment? Well, I think it's very good for Pekingese who are a high profile breed to be winning groups and for people to be looking at them in groups and seeing how healthy that they are and they can walk and do everything that any other dog can do. Well, many congratulations. It's a long drive back to Scotland, but I'll let you go. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm just going to have a quick word with Andrew Brace. And what were your overall thoughts of that toy group? Um, it looked a very good group. I mean, the toy group was the very first judge, the first group that I was actually approved to judge. Um, Howard had some good quality dogs out there. Um, the quartet that he finished up with, excellent. That King Charles dog, who was second, it's a breed that is not renowned for being the greatest movers. But I mean, that little dog, he's square, he's cobby with a beautiful head, great sound mover. Third was the smooth coat chihuahua, um, sassy little thing, I've never seen it before. Um, and fourth, uh, the very nice Italian greyhound male that's on a bit of a roll at the moment. So yeah, it looked to be a very, very high quality group. So let's go back to the main ring to watch the conclusion of the hound group. And the winner is the Beagle. Beagle is best in group, best of the hound group in Southern Counties. Followed by the Scottish Deerhound. Then by the Bassifo uh, de Britannia. the Norwegian Elf Town fourth in the group. Congratulations to the others. Very well done. Special congratulations to the winners. Well done. Congratulations. So today's Hound Group winner was Zena under the judge Zena Thorne Andrews. Now, a bit of a coincidence perhaps? Well, we don't know. But Sarah Jackson, are you one delighted owner? 
very delighted, thank you. <laughs> Have you won a group before? Oh, my, fir my first group, but she's had group placings before. So. Now she's got um, quite a record behind her. She's not a first time winner though, really, is she? No, she's, this is her 14th ticket. Well, that's absolutely lovely. So Zena is our third winner from today um, and ends quite a nice sort of triple group win, I suppose, of today. We've got the Beagle, um, we've got the Pekingese and we've got the Soft Coat of Wheaton Terrier. Sums up a nice day two of Southern Counties? Well, it sums up a nice day in an interesting kind of way because thanks to Zena, she actually broke the stranglehold of the Scandinavians ah. <laughs> because every single group winner up until the Hound Group had been sent forward from the breed ring by one of our Scandinavian visitors, whereas Beagles today were judged by Stuart Mallard, and he is definitely not a Viking. <laughs>
And the winner is the Bull Mastiff. With the correct name, second. The Alaskan Management, third in the group. And the Rockfiler, fourth in the group. Thank you, the others. Thank you, Dina. Well done and congratulations. So the Bull Mastiff topped the working group this year and it was a first time Group 1 win for yes, Bruce yes, and Jane. Yes. Tell us about this. Yeah, absolutely fabulous. Really didn't expect it. Um, we didn't have a big entry of uh, the breed, but obviously this makes up for it So to win the working group. And yeah. you've had a placing before? Yes, we've had a place before with him in the group, Group 3. Yes, at Working Breeds of Wales. And they year. look really strong dogs to actually have to try and keep up with. Yeah, they are strong, but he's very good on his leads. You know, once he, yeah, he's, he doesn't pull or anything. But uh, well, many congratulations, Jane, thank you, thank and you. good luck for best in show. Lovely, thank you very much. First up is the Dunlop Group winner, five one five zero one two hundred seven. The winner is the Japanese Shiba Inu. On the second day, the Hound Group winner, the Beagle, 3137. The Toy Group winner, Doctor of the Toy Group winner, number 5816, the Vigilese. On the third day, the Pastoral Group winner, 7343, the Little Mastiff. And then the Working Group winner, 6832, the target and 14. The first up of the first day was the winner of the Jundog Group. Spaniel. The number is of the utility group was Japanese Shiba Inu, number 2211.
table now, we have the winner of the toy group from yesterday, number 5816, the Pekinese. And the winner from today of the working group is a ball mastiff 7343. Finally, the winner of the fast run group today, number 6832, the Carlton So, Zena Thorne Andrews judged both groups on the final day here and Best in Show. Now, before we talk about Best in Show, let's go back to the working group. Now, you look pretty decisive in that group. Well, it's not a big group, so um, there's only usually only around about 15 in the group. So, I didn't make such a big shortcut, as it were. Uh, but I was very impressed with the ones I had, especially the last four. Um, Bull Mastiff's a nice, big, strong dog, really good moving. And I love the elegant Dane that was second. So, you know, it was a really good group. I was impressed. And then straight on to the pastoral group where mm. you had um, a lot more qu in quantity. Yeah, and it was a top-class group too. I think any one of those last eight could have, could have walked the group really in a normal. And what normal. were you... I was just sort of nitpicking really. There was maybe uh, grooming problems with a couple of breeds and maybe not quite as true in front or something like that. You know, just small, small things really. Um, but it, I, th I was very impressed. The uh, Cardigan Corgi was outstanding. I have given her a group before, so they've just told me. It's the same one I judged at Welts last year. And uh, she is an outstanding Cardigan Corgi. It's very difficult to get that breed right. Very, very difficult. So that then joined the other six for Best in Show. Mm -hmm. And we've just judged that. And uh, the English Springer was your winner. Yes, and I didn't judge that one. That was came from um, Rainer Vernon from Finland. And uh, again, an impressive dog, in immaculate condition, very well muscled, beautiful head, superb movement. And it was a really tough decision because there were seven really good dogs in that lineup. And of course, the Cardin Corgi was runner up. Yeah, yeah, and she well deserved it, I think. Yeah, good lineup, I was really impressed. Well, collapsed in a little heap <laughs> is Seamus and his co owner, Jackie Mitchell. Um, you've just gone best in show at Southern Counties. Yes, I can't believe it. <laughs> Was it your first big win in the general yes, champ show? It was. Yeah, we've we've um, won the Gundog group, and this is the first time that he's gone best in show. So really pleased. 
And did you have any idea that you think you could have done that this no. weekend? <laughs> Absolutely no idea at all. So it's thrilling, fantastic. What about going back to like sort of the breed ring um, earlier on on Friday? Did you think you had a hope in, in there? Um, we entered under the judge who was Finnish because we thought he might appreciate Seamus obviously being Swedish um, and we had a really good day under him so that proved to be the case. So um, you never really go expecting these things but we were very happy with the day we had and it's just got better and better really. Well Seamus really really likes the bait that I've got right <laughs> now so what I'm going to do is let him have it and then go for a nice walk with him I'm sure tonight and some celebrations. Yes definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well as you can see behind me the best in show ring at Southern Counties is already starting to be dismantled. One final word from Andrew Brace. Uh, day three the working and pastoral groups and best in show what did you make of it all? Busy day, two very good groups actually. I thought Zena's working and pastoral group. Um, they were both very strong, some very good dogs in there. Um, it's been Jubilee Day today. Her Majesty's been floating down the Thames on her barge. We've certainly seen a hell of a lot of water here in Newbury. But uh, an interesting final, we've ended up with an English Springer Spaniel and a Welsh, a cardigan Welsh Corgi. So two British breeds, even though one was bred in Sweden and has an Irish call name, <laughs> and the other one was bred in Holland. But all in all, I thought it was an excellent final to Jubilee weekend. So goodbye from Newbury. <laughs> Absolutely. So that sums it up. English Springer Spaniel topped the lot at Southern Counties. We'll see you next time on Around the Dog World at Blackpool.